guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Elena Alzru. Some of you may know me at Elena Rose 620 and I just wanted to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. To those of you who have recently subscribed, I am so grateful that you guys decided to invest in my videos and in me. Those of you who came over from Brian's channel from the how-to video, thank you so much. Some of the things you might see on here are videos about my own training, but something that's near and dear to my heart is the topic of mental health. Over the past 20 years, I've been involved in fitness and in mental health. It's just something that I feel like goes together and to me they're really not separate So I'm hoping to kind of bridge the gap and be able to open up conversation about that about five weeks ago I put out a video in honor of mental health awareness week And it was about five things that training can do to help your mental health and I said I would break them down And today I'm going to break down one that meant a lot to me this week It's about building proud moments and the importance of building proud moments in your life and how Training benefits from that and how your life can benefit from training with more intention there are benefits to building proud moments in your life and the benefits that I've recognized are increasing self-confidence, increasing focus and memory, as well as increasing meaningful success. And the hope is that we can change our thoughts and our thoughts become memories. So we can in turn change our mindsets and perspectives. I love the idea of positive thinking, but this even goes deeper. It makes that positive thought reality. It's a healthier way to live because what you're saying on the inside is what you're actually living on the outside. I'm gonna talk briefly about three ways that you can build proud moments during your training. Deliberate and intentional work, wholehearted work, and then reflective work. The first one I wanted to talk about was deliberate and intentional thought. What you think about the most grows. One of the things that I love to learn about is neuroscience. And neuroscience will break down what a thought actually is and how a cluster of thoughts become memories in your life. And to me, that just blows my mind. You have the opportunity to build new memory through your thoughts. And the more intentional you are with your thoughts, the stronger they're gonna get. Thoughts are like muscles. If you work them and you're very very intentional about what you're thinking just like you're intentional about what muscle you're training it's gonna grow and it's gonna strengthen so if you go into the gym and you're remembering your squat cues and the more you think about that cue the easier it's gonna become and the stronger it's gonna be in your mind I've heard Brian say before and said grease the groove so if you take one thought into your training session it could be breathe and brace okay that's the thought that you're gonna think about while you're training and then the more you practice that thought the more it becomes a habit and the more it becomes easier to ever retrieve and then what happens is you create memory networks and memory networks are just super strong ways of encapsulating an experience through thoughts so what a cool way to build a new memory but the most important thing to remember is it's all about habitual deliberate intentional thought and practice I love that Brian has these squat cue I'm just using the squat as an example but squat cue training videos or deadlift cue training videos he really simplifies it so you only have to really think about out, like one two or three things so the breathing and bracing is a wonderful thought to focus on while you're practicing your squats and this particular program that we're doing has technique portions where you go in and you do the same movement every single time and the more perfect you make that movement the more it's going to be easier to access when you come back to it this is so important for competitors because the more you practice something the easier your body is going to remember it and that's because you've greased the groove made it a slick neural pathway and it's easier to retrieve from your memory network. It is so awesome. I love this so much. It really empowers me and gives me so much hope that I'm constantly learning and constantly growing. And you guys know me. This does not only apply to the gym. If you bring a mindset of I can do this into a training session, how powerful is that when you go outside of the gym and you encounter a difficult situation that normally you you would say to yourself, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> you, would, you would really be able to retrieve the memory and the moment that you had and say, no, I can, because you've practiced that thought. The thought, it became stronger. Usually it'll take about 21 to 63 days to really get a nice strong thought and it to be stored in your long-term memory. And the brain is awesome. It has this quality called neuroplasticity, which means it's always changing and growing. And we have the ability to kind of guide that shift. Focus and deliberate thoughts are really gonna help 
add to your success in the gym and in a competition and of course into life. The second point that I wanted to talk about is wholehearted work. Probably my favorite one because it's a little more emotional. <laughs> so the purpose behind building proud moments into your life is basically building new memories of uh, positive experiences. When you get to do that with yourself, it's a really interesting opportunity to build confidence. So building self-confidence is so important to be able to achieve your hopes and your dreams in your life. Something as simple as coming to the gym and giving 110% allows you the opportunity to grow and create new memories through new experiences. This just doesn't happen by accident. Just like with your thought life, here you have to be emotionally invested and you may have heard the term being present. When I am present in a lift or in a training session, I am engaged with what I'm doing, how much I'm supposed to live, where I need to go next in the giant set. I'm also invested in the people around me emotionally. When they go to lift, I'm encouraging them and then I'm actually receiving the encouragement they give to me and allowing it to just help me do a better job at what I'm doing. The whole hard to work being, means being 100% present where you are. Your head can't be somewhere else. You can't be thinking about, hey, what am I going to eat for dinner? That bad thing that just happened at work or comparison. Like, don't get distracted when you're trying to be wholehearted in the work that you're doing. Be all about it. Be kind of sold out for it. I need to believe that what I'm doing matters and that when I go to squat or when I go to deadlift, or it's an opportunity to create meaningful success in my life. If I fail, I learn. If I succeed, what a cool opportunity. I'm going to add that to my memory network and it's going to grow and it's going to strengthen. And the more times I'm doing that, the stronger that it's going to be and the more confident I'm going to be. For me personally, when I'm going to do a big lift, I love to have like a special song that I've connected with emotionally that week. It creates this emotional experience that makes it feel really special. And I've connected with music a lot in my life. And so for me, it's about the people, specifically the people who are around me when I'm going to do a special lift creates a, an experience for me. The music, what I'm hearing, really also affects me. And you're kind of taking a risk on yourself. You're taking your risk on yourself to kind of be embarrassed. You're taking a risk on yourself to feel special for a moment. But things don't just happen. You know, you have to create an opportunity. And to be honest with you, that's something that Brian and I are so passionate about. Fostering an environment for change and growth. In the context of what I'm talking about here, it's just fostering an opportunity for people to make new memories, to be proud of themselves, to increase their confidence, and to be there for the people around them. Yes, this is awesome. What a cool thing is that you have the power to change your life just by going into the gym being wholehearted because um, that wholehearted work is going to translate into wholeheartedly being there for your loved ones, wholeheartedly being there at the work that you do for your job. So it's so cool and I love talking about it. The third part is reflective work. Being reflective about your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit is one of the best ways to grow. If you're just walking through life and you're just experiencing it and not taking a moment and pausing and meditating on what's going on, you're going to miss half of half of everything. <laughs> um, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing more videos because I want to learn from my own mistakes. I want to see what I'm doing well, what I'm not doing well, and then turning the video on in the gym also is a way for me to reflect. I love reflection because it incorporates visualization. So to be able to really build a good memory network and, and create new neural pathways in your brain for specific thoughts, you have to practice them every single day. Now, you may not be in the gym every single day and that's okay. What you can do is either watch video about the cues and then try to memorize them and then also visualizing. This is huge in sports psychology. You can actually have the same experience not in the gym but in the power of your mind and your imagination. And if you even position yourself, like I know this seems funny, but if you're in your room and you decide to position yourself like you're going to squat and you practice that, it's going to really increase your ability to be able to do it well the next time you go into the gym. It's almost a posturing. You're doing it in the context of your home or before you go to bed at night or when you wake up in the morning. It's meditative, mindful work. And the reflection piece is just taking a moment to allow yourself to breathe, take in the experience, reflect on maybe video that you've done, watch other people who are really good at the squat and learn from them. This is really important, I think, too, for before you go into a workout, visualizing yourself doing things successfully and being reflective about this process is huge. This is a really neat way to 
help your, you understand what you're thinking. You can actually observe your own thoughts. If you almost pretend to step outside of yourself and observe your own thinking, it's a wonderful way to reflect. It's going to reduce your risk for injury too because you're actually engaging your brain, your body, and your emotions. As everything's coming together into one and you're having one whole experience, that has really made a difference for me in my training. One thing that really helps me when I'm prepping for a competition is constantly going over myself doing something well, seeing myself be successful. And I really feel like that has strengthened me. And also before events, I'll write down the cues and really focus on them and try to memorize them and then see myself doing them. And that also really helps. All this to say, reflection is so important. It's the mindfulness part of lifting, how much this will help you have meaningful success in your lift. It will help you build self-confidence and it increase your focus on what you're doing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It has, um, it's a topic that's so dear to my heart. Making new memories just gives hope and, and purpose to life. And it's just so exciting that our brains are that cool um, to be able to do this and that we can use a gym to practice this concept and to help people around us and be wholehearted in what we do. And that our lifting can translate to so many areas of our life and what a cool opportunity to practice that. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure to be able to talk to you guys about a topic that just means so much to me. Thank you guys so much and have an amazing day.